Hello everyone. Welcome to Urban Transformation Summit Maharashtra. I'm Arpit Gupta and joining me is a very special guest, none other than founder and CEO of Book My Show, Ashish. How are you? How has been your experience of participating here? Oh, it was really nice to have uh, very important people on the panel which were policy makers and a very powerful group which I think are so open to listening to new ideas, suggestions. And I think uh, the government of Maharashtra really is leading at the forefront on urban infrastructure development, as you can see. There's always been this promise and delivery, right? There's been always a gap. And I was born and raised in the city. I'm 49. For the first time, I'm seeing this gap shrink dramatically. You can actually see execution of the dream projects that we've always dreamt of. And... uh, and uh, I love the fact. But I think more and more cities need to look at this mantra of uh, work, play and live. And when I mean by live, uh, it's a place to live for open spaces, um, uh, educational institutes, healthcare. And I'm not talking only for the rich, but for every citizen of the city. Uh, cleanliness, uh, living means also being able to go out and participate in bars and restaurants and going out in the evenings, feeling safe, going to concerts, uh, going to sporting arenas and gigs. So you should be able to, uh, you know, uh, have sporting facilities for all. Can the beaches and our public parks be used, not just create nana nani parks all the time, right, for people for walking, but for kids to right. be able to play soccer and just not skating rings but have other facilities like uh, pickleball and paddleball and tennis and I think you don't need big infrastructure projects but you need local community projects uh, which then create um, uh, you know this environment of live work and play Uh, look at Singapore they have gardens by the bay you look at uh, New York it has the Central Park. Look at London, it has the Hyde Park. It's open for the citizens of the city. Where is our park? It's tucked away, Borivali National Park, which is one end of the city. How can you create another one which is in the center of the city? And I think we'll have to do a lot more. You are talking about livability, basically. So yeah. this comes under the urban transformation. And yeah. while we are discussing urban transforming landscape, so where do you see role for players like you, Book My Show? What are your thoughts on this? Look, if you want to attract talent into the city, of course, you need connectivity and affordable housing but if you have a place which is dead and nobody wants to come to a place which is dead you want kids to feel secure they need a place to go out uh, meet people have a vibrant environment where they can do things because they're already working so hard cities are not easy to live we've got 20 plus million people our job as book my show is to make a life more fun whether it's movies it's plays it's concerts it's sports it's bringing in big shows and concerts it's making a society more vibrant yet uh, moving the gdp of of a city or 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 of a state uh, which in which also impacts tourism it impacts business to have conferences around big large projects uh, hotels uh, bars and restaurants service industry around that so i think when you do big concerts, events, sporting, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, sporting uh, tournaments like the World Cup. You saw what an impact it had, right? Right, right. Uh, Whether it was in Ahmedabad or Calcutta and Bombay. And I think we need to do a lot more. And that's the role at least Book My Show aspires to play in a small way uh, for for the state and the city of Bombay. I was in the audience while you, you were discussing, you were putting your thoughts in the panel discussion. You talked about the QR code, the importance of technology right. adoption. Right. How do you see the technology changing the urban transformation? Look, I can tell you little things like next time when you buy a ticket for a concert, why can't that same QR code be used for accessing a metro or, or a BST bus or uh, prepaying for your cab or your parking? I mean, it's that little thing which makes life so much easier. Right for people to be able to access uh, uh, that entertainment or sports. I think uh, technology also plays an important role on safety and security of financial systems and payments when you buy something or being able to transfer your QR code on trackability so that there is no black marketing or there is no scalping of tickets and there is transferability of tickets and then you can generate more revenue if somebody sells that and that means more GST for the state and the center. I think it's little things like that where technology on blockchain can make a huge impact just on transferability and uh, bookkeeping on on your ticket. So I think there's a whole host of things that we can do around. uh, uh, Then I can go on and on about large concerts and events where 
LEDs and uh, the the staging systems and the lights and sound, that's a huge technological leap that has taken. So when we're doing this Ed Sheeran concert in uh, in March, it will be the most advanced staging system which is in the round, which is coming to India for the first time and it will be in the city of Bombay only. It's not going anywhere else. So I think these are the kind of things that we are constantly pushing the envelope for. Thank you for sharing these thoughts, Raditi. And stay tuned for more such updates from uh, Mumbai, ET, Government, Urban Transformation Summit. Thank you so much.